Teaching really matters, and finding the right teachers really matters. In a classroom, uh, the teacher not only provides knowledge and skills, uh, but also is a living example of the power that education has. Your knowledge of everything and your ability to teach that to a student are two distinct aspects of, of education. You have to have excellent content knowledge, but you also have to have the skills required to give that knowledge and to help students access that content in ways that are appropriate for their grade level. If you think that you're gonna be the sage on the stage, you're gonna be mistaken because what actually happens is that you're learning and developing your craft and getting better at what you do, and that requires a certain humility and it requires a, a pursuit of constant knowledge. If you are, in a sense, the intellectual peer of the other students in the classroom, that's a great moment. Because as a teacher, you stop and in a moment of vulnerability, you say, I am stumped by the greatness of this thing. Help me. They jump in and those moments, they're just the best. And it is rewarding because the light bulb goes off in teachers just like it does in students. We provide our teachers with a lot of training and a lot of mentorship. We provide our teachers with one week of training on the Hillsdale uh, K-12 curriculum that we offer. And then after that week, uh, we bring our teachers to our campuses and we provide them with a thorough introduction to ev every aspect that they need to know in order to have a successful school year. I can get on a Zoom call and speak with the people who are helping with the literature or the literacy in Hillsdale. And I can be connected to different schools in the United States and we're all talking about what's going on in our schools. That's why it's really encouraging to me that we have the relationship with Hillsdale and the, the national relationship with all the other schools. That's a lot of people, a lot of very smart people in very different places and circumstances thinking about the same thing. So not only do I feel challenged as a teacher to be my very best, but I also feel like I have the best behind me. It took a minute for me to kind of settle in and realize for the first time in my teaching career, I am actually being treated like a professional. This curriculum that we provide gives schools vertical alignment, the ability to make sure that there's a plan for the students. They're going somewhere, and the curriculum is helping them get there. Everything flows and connects so well because of the way the curriculum is built. Not only are the subjects vertically aligned, which means that they slowly progress from one year to the next, but also horizontally aligned so that in your grade level that you're teaching, you can see the connection between a history unit, a literature unit, and even a math unit. That's what makes it so special is that while we're learning in history about World War I, we're simultaneously reading Animal Farm in literature, which is based exactly on the events that were happening in Russia at that time. I know that the wonder and awe of education, which is the beauty of childhood, is in my classroom because of the curriculum that I've been given the opportunity to expose my students to. I was looking for a place that clearly said we are interested in students learning and becoming virtuous people. And it doesn't get much more simple than that. And the staff here is united in that effort. It's what I always wanted, I just didn't know it existed. I got my teaching degree at the age of 63. <laughs> And I would encourage anybody to get the opportunity to work at a school that teach classical education. It is never too late. If you're a teacher who values the rich education of students, not only for the sake of gaining knowledge, but also for the sake of becoming good formed citizens, come to our schools because what we offer students is a constant variety of rich exposure to the great ideas.